Deputies say an Embry-Riddle student pilot and an instructor were killed in a small plane crash yesterday. A news conference was held this morning to give an update on the crash investigation. And News 6 Essential Saunders explains what investigators are calling unusual about this particular crash. The NTSB tells us this is certainly not a typical crash and it's going to take them days to investigate and possibly weeks to figure out what happened. And I don't want to get into the theories about what could cause a wing to fall off. NTSB officials offered no explanation as to how a wing could fall off a plane mid-flight, saying they provide facts, not conjecture, but the crash does cause concern. I have to say it's a, it's very uncommon. It's uh, uh, These airplanes are uh, uh, engineered to uh, perform in all kinds of environments. It's This is a, a very unique uh, situation. It looked like the wing just pulled off and then the fuselage kept on going past the road and it, it, it's crashed. Witnesses saw the plane go down with an Embry-Riddle student and FAA flight instructor on board. Officials spent the morning documenting the scene, beginning a comprehensive investigation that they say looks into the man, machine and environment. The human performance, the pilot and the student, their background, their training, uh, their experience in the aircraft. Uh, the machine or the technical aspects of the machine. and That means pouring through engineering, maintenance records, mapping, photographing, and recreating the flight path. The student was training using an extremely common maneuver called touch and go, practicing liftoff and landing. So far, nothing has indicated why the plane would crash. The sole purpose of which is to find a cause and keep this from happening again. The full investigation with recommendations by the NTSB board could take at least 18 months. Reporting in Volusia County, Sashel Saunders, News 6. Sashel, thanks. To learn more about the victims and for the latest on the investigation, check clickorlando.com under the News tab.